Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in today's video, we will be talking about federal workers go on strike in Canada. Expect these visa and immigration services to be disrupted. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end please hit like and subscribe and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. More than 155,000 public sector workers in Canada began a strike on Wednesday, after failing to reach a wage deal with the federal government by a Tuesday deadline, an action that will affect passport services and tax filings during peak demand. We truly hoped we wouldn't be forced to take strike action, but we've exhausted every other avenue to reach a fair contract for Canada's federal public service workers, PSAC President Chris Aylward said. The union, which has been in collective bargaining for a new contract since 2021, had set a deadline of 9 p.m., 1 o'clock GMT on Wednesday for a deal. According to Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, these are the visa and immigration services that will continue through the strike and the ones that have the possibility of disruption. Services maintained. One you would still be able to. Two apply online. Three mail applications to IRCC. For use your online accounts. Five access some emergency services. These services are offered by non-governmental organizations and would still be available. Settlement services from IRCC partner organizations. Healthcare through the Interim Federal Health Program. Visa application centers outside of Canada. Services partially or fully disrupted. You should expect delays with. Processing applications in-person appointments or events including citizenship ceremonies. Contacting IRCC via email, phone, or social media. Consular citizenship and passport services. Passport services in Canada. The PSAC is dwarfed by the larger Canadian Union of Public Employees, but a strike by its members would still be disruptive. Canadians have been told to expect delays in the processing of income tax returns, immigration and asylum requests, passport applications and foreign worker permits consular services and new requests for veterans benefits would also be affected. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.